welcome to another Adventures of Scott Michelle. Today's adventure takes you to the Ponderosa Steakhouse in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. So join us at another one of our adventures as we do a restaurant review. So this is inside Ponderosa and boy this takes back a lot of memories for me because I used to come here when I was a child. I didn't come to this one particularly, but I did go to one when I was a child back when I lived in the city. And oh my god, I can remember walking through and waiting to take our trays and to get our food. And this is the menu they have here. It's like I believe first you pay for the uh for the buffet and then these are add-ons to the buffet. Yes. Which I'll probably do sirloin and grilled shrimp, which is an extra six bucks on top of the buffet price. Yeah. I'm not too sure what I might get. I might get the sirloin and grilled shrimp. Maybe. And since this is a buffet, it's only uh, non-alcoholic beverages. Yes. Oh no, I take that back. They do have some bottled beer. They don't do that back in Illinois, or they didn't do that back in Illinois. This is Wisconsin. Yes. And you got your to-go cups too. Okay, so this is the buffet. They um, require you to um, wear gloves when you're going up to the buffet and this is their dessert table right for right now oh my god they still have the fresh baked rolls oh my god I remember those Then it looks like over here they have some uh, chicken noodle soup and some bean and bacon soup. The little bowls they have that you can put your soup in. And there are little cups over here for um, their dessert. Well, this is their little uh, the buffet which comes with the meal. They got like macaroni and cheese. Oh my god, I missed that. We got some vegetables here on the side. And we got some chicken. Got some potatoes, some corn, some fried chicken. stuffing. They got rice and mashed potatoes. And this right over here is their salad bar. All different types of uh, salad here. So, different types of lettuce and then they got um, tomatoes, onions. They also got like some pizza and little mini corn dogs and some Broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And you can make like your own little mini taco with some cheddar cheese. They have some different types of chips too. Which I might have a little cheat and get some of those, but not too sure yet. And that looks really good. This is what I got at the buffet, folks. I got me some grilled chicken and I also got me some salad on the side with some ranch dressing. Uh, what did you get, hon? A little beef stew, a couple of chicken nuggets, uh, for grilled chicken, and a chicken tender. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yum. Looks really good, hon. Thanks. Well, my steak and shrimp has arrived, and boy, look at that. I got the drawn butter on the side, my grilled shrimp, and my steak. And boy, does that look really, really good. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I want to see how my steak looks. Now, they have you um, cut into your steak to make sure that it's prepared to your liking. And look at that. Does that look rather good? I ordered my steak medium well because I don't like it too burnt. I like it just perfect. Mm. It tastes rather good. Maybe I'll also provide you some steak sauce to go with your uh, steak too. I'm also going to try my shrimp, so I'm going to see how that actually tastes with the dog butter. That's the shrimp. Mm. Dip it in with the dog butter. Oh my god, it's really good. Yeah, it is. So, uh, honey, how you liking your uh, steak? That's good. Uh, Real good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look really good. Yeah, it cooks well, tastes well, tastes mm. very good. That's good. How, how, how are the shrimp? Very good. That's good. Really good. So, Nana, now I had to go back to the up to the buffet, and I got myself some little chip with some little bit of cheese. I remember getting this when I was a kid. And I think I got a side of zucchini and another grilled uh, piece of chicken. So, I'm going to bite into this and see how it tastes. So, I know we're not supposed to have this because we're on keto, but my husband made a nice little um, strawberry sundae, and it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. How did it taste, honey? Very good. Yeah, we're sort of sharing this so it offsets the carbs. Shares the carbs. Yeah, shares the carbs. <laughs> okay, here's our receipt, people. Uh, let's see, the, uh, the the standard buffet price is twelve ninety nine, and uh, so all that food you can get in a buffet, that's what's there for twelve ninety nine. Now, what we got as an add-on is sirloin and grilled shrimp, which is $6 extra. Um, and yeah, you know, we both got no potatoes since we're on uh, since we're on uh, keto. But uh, I, I know they do have great uh, baked potatoes. We used to get them years ago. I just got water, and she got Diet Pepsi for two seventy nine. So the total was forty seventy forty seventy seven plus the tip was I meant plus the tax of two dollars and twenty four cents made an order total of forty three dollars and a penny. Oh wow, this is so cool. They got like these little mini games here for like kids could play. Yeah, they're, 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 they're not actual gambling machines. It says for amusement only because it, it only takes money, so it doesn't, it's not, not, a, it's not a gambling machine. Wow. Yeah, it's like a kid's one, yeah. Cool. 1996, these are old. Wow. 25-year-old machines. From 1996, wow, these are like 25-year-old machines. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Cool. folks that's gonna do it for our vlog of the ponderosa restaurant so what did you think hon um it was really good um it was just like how i used to remember unfortunately back home they closed down all the ponderosas they turned them into golden corrals and we're not mm -hmm. highly crazy about going especially not for lunch or dinner we're, we did go to a decent one in arlington heights for breakfast a week ago oh yeah um but you know we went to one in bloomingdale and we thought it was terrible 
Um, but uh, so this was very good to go to, to an old Ponderosa and they're very hard to find. Like there's, I think only like about 20 of them nationwide now. And there was at one time, probably a couple hundred. <clears throat> yes. And um, Ponderosa bring back um, many memories for me because I remember going to Ponderosa when I was a child. Um, I used to go with my mom and dad and my sisters. Oh my God. <clears throat> I remember my dad, he used to like take the rolls and he would eat, you know, he would take the rolls, he would eat them. And then he'd also save some for like later on. Uh -huh. So he would always like to take them with him. I'm like, uh, dad, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> oh yeah. My dad didn't care. He, he loved their rolls here and yeah, their rolls are pretty good. Um, I also thought the food was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing that they didn't do, which I remember when I was a kid, is you always got like that Ponderosa tray and you would put your plate on there and then you would, you know, no, okay. take your drink and everything. But I think things are a little different now, Definitely. but it, it still, it still brought back so many memories and I thought my steak was good and I thought my, um, Grilled uh, shrimp was good, yeah. and oh, and drawn butter was really good too. Yeah, and uh, Beaver Dam, just so people know where it is, it's halfway, pretty much halfway in between Madison, Wisconsin, and Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And it's not far, just on the north side of Beaver, Beaver Dam, not far from uh, US 151. Yeah, so we're gonna try to drive up there and uh, check out and see a sunset. So. Yeah, we go go to a park by Beaver Dam Lake right by here. Yeah, so if you like this vlog give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed don't forget this that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more coming adventures of scott and michelle and also one thing to keep in mind they close at 7 p.m just just so you know yeah so yeah ponderosa does close at 7 p.m so you want to get here a little right. early so you're not rushed and have to hurry up and eat your dinner and mm -hmm. leave so yeah they do close at 7 30 so well, folks, that's going to do it for our vlog of Ponderosa, so we'll catch you in the next vlog. Thanks. Stay safe out there, folks. We love you.